you know, there's probably close to 800 and something, <clears throat> 850 now, I don't know, recordings and videos on YouTube, on um, Facebook, you know, those places I never go to, but I'm there and I have a pretty big presence there. And every one of them is a recording of these talks I give after class that go into various aspects of our spiritual practice, try to clarify things for people, usually answering questions that people have. And, you know, this work is a very deep work. It's a work of transformation and uh, a work that anyone who does it can truly use to build a system inside to have a spiritual life. And I mean, there have to be 800 and something. Well, he told me over 800, maybe three weeks ago. You know, so it's like a reference library of different aspects of this. Time. So is my website where I have all those writings I have written on Tantra. Right now, there's almost 60 of them, I mean, 58 of them or something like that. And I must say, to be really honest, it's some of the best writing I've ever done. My life is very clear, profound, almost has poetry in it. And uh, trying to explain in a very practical way what this is all about. You know, not using Sanskrit terms and, you know, esoteric terms and arcane terms, but just trying to bring it down to basic everyday living. Now, basic everyday living is no different than having a spiritual life. I mean, it's like I always talk that wonderful Japanese, you know, saying before enlightenment, carrying water plowing the fields. After enlightenment, carrying water, plowing the fields. And the difference is just consciousness. The awakening of consciousness in a human being. You know, the development of a system inside that is strong enough to keep the heart open, to be able to experience unconditional love, unconditional compassion, giving, receiving, and to function here on the highest level of what it means to be human. I mean, that's what the soul comes here to learn, you know? What else? <laughs> With all the crap that the soul goes through while it's making this voyage on the planet Earth. I mean, it has to be something it's got to learn, how to transform all of that madness into an open heart, into love, consistency, of an open heart, that God is love. That's the struggle. It's a struggle that every human being has. It's not unique to people that practice this meditation. It's an international struggle. It's an endemic that touches every human being on the planet Earth. Whether or not they transform it, that's another question. And there's reincarnation. They're given you know, thousands of lifetimes if they want them to learn how to do this. Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? The voyage is inside each and every one of us. The answer is inside each and every one of us. And all the meditation is about is building a system so that we can take that internal voyage and arrive at a place where we're connected consciously to higher energy in the universe. It's not just words in a book and words on paper and you know songs that people sing and it's a real living experience that a human being can have in their day-to-day -day life. Does anyone have a question they would like to ask?
and nobody should deny them themselves this. I mean, what Rudy left us here, you know, there's a million stories about him. There's a lot of folklore. There's a lot of, you know, things people, but the thing that he really left is this meditation exercise, which is probably one of the most brilliant things of the 20th century. To be take the madness of the world and transform it into a spiritual life. That's the purpose of the meditation. And ultimately in doing it, we get free of the only person who keeps us from doing it is ourselves. We are the culprit. We are the problem. We got to learn how to get free of ourselves. It's that part of us that I can't, I won't, I don't. I don't want to be bothered. I don't, you know, leave me alone. And then age catches up to people and they wind up, God knows where they wind up, you know? Does anyone else or does anyone have a question they'd like to ask? Okay, there'll be meditation on Thursday. And uh, those of you in Israel, happy holiday. Was to be a week of joyous festivities and celebration, and I hope you partake in it. You know, wonderful time. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone on Thursday. God bless you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.